Hey, all my friends, it's time to sharpen our teeth on Crawl. Yes, the new alligator horror film that hit the big screen from the director of Piranha 3D, where we get a young woman who is trying to save her father during a Category 5 hurricane. But the two find themselves trapped in her childhood home by a bunch of alligators. And we see how these two fight for their lives to try to escape the alligators and the ever-rising water that is flooding their home. Folks, this film has a lot of entertaining parts. It has some great tension moments. And I did think it was entertaining, though I think the film stumbles most when it has its character development. If you're going to do a crazy gator attack film, please keep the action and that focused on the gators. We had just enough of these characters to care for nothing to happen to them to where we didn't need to explore the daughter-daddy issues. I thought the special effects in this film were fantastic, and it does not shy away from the rated R rating, especially with the practical gore effects, which looked phenomenal in here. As long as you don't think too deeply on this film, I think you'll enjoy it a lot more, though there were moments even when I was trying not to think too deeply, I was going, that's not quite how gators work, and really, really? So there are a lot of head-scratching moments in the film. I did enjoy the performance of Kea Scodelario, who I thought was fantastic in the film with a very strong female role, and this film does not end on a downer note like many horror films do in the modern age. Still, I could only give this two and three quarters stubs. Not quite three, worth the five dollar Tuesday or maybe a matinee, but otherwise you can wait for rental. What you shouldn't wait for is a GN cast for some great genre podcast. I thank you for your support. Until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.